I feel like lately in the RuneScape category, everything has been about speed. How fast can you do different things? But in this video, let's deviate from that trend a bit and actually do something completely different. Instead in this video, we're going to be answering the question, what is the worst way and slowest way of getting every single tier of clue scroll in the game? Of course, there's going to be one exception, and that is the master tier clue scroll, as this can only be obtained from opening another tier of clue scrolls. If I get one during the video, I'll complete it. If not, it is what it is. For a video like this, it only makes sense to begin at the absolute bottom with the easiest one to get, which is the beginner clue scroll. The worst way in the game of receiving this one is a 1 in 300 drop rate from chickens. There's actually a lot of different areas to kill chickens, but we are, of course, going to be using the absolute worst of them all. Which is in Falador at the White Knight Castle, which only has one singular spawn of a chicken. So most of this is just going to be killing it and waiting for respawn. So let's see how long this actually takes. Alright, so here we are at the one chicken I am allowed to kill. So let's go ahead and do the first KC on this. One shot it right away and most of this grind is just going to be waiting for respawn. I actually counted the respawn timer and it seems to be around 15 seconds and that means if I go on drop rate of 300 chicken kills this way, it's going to be a 75 minute grind to get one beginner clue skull. That truly is atrocious. So we just hit the one hour mark of only camping this one chicken spawn and we have still not seen a beginner clue skull. We've done around 230 kills so far so we're not on the drop rate just yet. But these truly are the worst methods of getting clue scrolls. Finally, there we go. That is the beginner clue scroll on the ground. That took me 517 chicken kills, which was like two and a half hours of killing chickens. And of course, we're going to be completing all the clue scrolls that we collected. So two and a half hours of farming for a beginner clue scroll gave me a total of 374 GP. One steel plate skirt. With that done, it is now time for the second tier of clue scroll, being of course the easy clue scroll. Now the way we're going to be getting this one is from Lobstrosities, which are actually located underwater and have a 1 in 128 drop rate of an easy clue scroll. There is actually a lot of monsters that share the same drop rate of being the worst drop rate of easy clue scroll, 1 in 128, but these are definitely the worst to kill out of all of them. Besides the obvious annoyances of walking really slowly around this area as it's underwater, I also need to keep my oxygen level up. It fortunately doesn't go down that quickly and puffer fishes right here that I just got, you can actually puff them as well and get more oxygen. But otherwise, you need to go into these water bubbles and let it go up automatically. On top of all of this, you can actually only deal damage to them with a mere folk trident, trident of the seas, brine saber, or magic secateurs, but I'm not sure why anyone would kill them with magic secateurs. And the only reason I wanted to try the brine saber is for the special attack. It can only be used underwater, and it looks like the Osmontons fang spec, so that's pretty cool. The random events have fish bowls on their helmet when I'm underwater. Maybe this is like common knowledge, but I had even a diving apparatus. I had no idea. That is so cool. Actually, not that bad of a grind. That is the easy clue scroll obtained, and we did 111 kills of lobstrosities, which is just slightly below the drop rate. So let's go ahead and complete this and see if it was worth it. That easy clue scroll had two Falador steps, so it took me like 45 seconds to complete. So let's see what the easy clue scroll reward is going to be. Let's go ahead and open it. Four definitely worth a bit more than the beginner 25k i'll take it it is now time for the ranger boots clue scroll as it could be better known as the medium clue scroll and the monsters with the worst drop rate of a medium clue scroll are these mummies right here in the desert treasure pyramid 103 combat at a drop rate of 1 in 513 for a medium clue on top of having a very buggy and weird death animation, they also randomly spawn these scarab swarms, which actually stops you from attacking for multiple ticks, which just overall slows down the grind. It's terribly annoying. Sadly, I will not be able to show you guys how many kills I had to do to be able to get the medium clue scroll from these because Runelight just isn't tracking the loot for these. I have no idea why that is. If any of you would know, please let me know in the comments. 
Excuse the morning voice because I had to go to bed yesterday because this was taking way too long and we woke up now and I've been doing this for now three and a half hours hours that is pretty insane finally there we go that is the medium clue scroll on the ground i must have killed way over 500 i've been here now for four hours and 32 minutes for one medium clue scroll so let's hope it's worth it for the reward so like four and a half hours of work for one medium clue scroll and the reward from this is worth 2009 what is even this reward i've never seen a weirder medium reward than this. I guess this is what you get from killing mummies for like four and a half hours. It is now time for the last two tiers of the video, the elite and the hard clue scroll, which we're going to be doing right now. And this one is actually at the worst drop rate obtained from Ankus. I actually thought there would be a way worse way of getting hard clue scrolls than Ankus, but that seems to be the worst one. Now, the drop rate of a hard clue scroll from Ankus that I'm going for is 1 in 512, but if you have a ring of wealth imbued, you can actually half that to 1 in 256 in the wilderness. But of course, in this video, as we're going for the worst methods, we're going to be killing them outside of the wilderness in the stronghold of security. One of the downsides with the stronghold of security is that this is a single combat area, so I can only attack one at a time, so this is definitely quite an annoying area to kill them. And that is it, that is the hard clue skull on the ground from Ankus, and uh, definitely not as bad as the medium clue skull, even though this tier was higher. We did it in 555 KC, so just slightly above the drop rate, but uh, this actually has a chance of giving me something good, so let's go and complete it. As long as we can beat the medium clue scroll that we got, I'm happy. So let's see what we get from this one. That is also terrible, but 37k, definitely better than the medium at least. We are now swiftly moving over to the last part of this video, which is going to be the elite clue scroll, which is going to be obtained from tortured gorillas, not demonic gorillas, but rather the smaller version of them with no protection prayers. The drop rate of an elite clue scroll from these is 1 in 1500, so this could really take a very long time. There is only one requirement to kill the tortured gorillas, and that is Monkey Madness 2, which is admittedly a pretty steep requirement, but uh, regardless, I don't think that is the reason you would do a Monkey Madness 2. You would do it mostly for these guys, the demonic gorillas, and uh, the tortured gorillas are more known to be the monsters you run past while getting two demonic gorillas, but... Uh, these are pretty much the same type of monsters, the only difference is that you can just camp melee all the time, because they have no protection prayers. They do actually have a pretty similar drop table to the demonic gorillas, but all the rares are just way more rare. For example, the Senite from Demonix is 1 in 300, from these guys it's 1 in 3000. So that is why really no one kills them, as you can see they are still pretty slow to kill. I actually thought these were demons, just like the demonic gorillas, but that was not the case. I had to swap my Arclight to a rapier, so if you're going to be doing this for some ungodly reason, make sure you don't use an Arclight. I did get one before, but this has to be one of the weirdest drops on the table. One singular adamant bolt, 157 GP. I really do wonder what they were thinking when they put that on the loot table. In a couple of seconds here, we are hitting the one hour mark at Tortured Gorillas, and we've killed 107 of them. And that means, if we would go on drop rate for an elite clue scholar, the Tortured Gorillas, it would take around 13 and a half hours just to get one single elite clue scroll. So let's just do it. Let's get one. Hopefully we get lucky. I don't have to spend like 15 hours here. That could happen. You could also go unlucky and go like 30 hours. I have now been here for 5 hours killing Tortured Gorillas. We have done 616 KC and no elite in sight yet. The loot is worth 2 million, but I've definitely used more than that in supplies. So really the only thing we're profiting is combat experience, and that's about it. But I'll see you guys in another 5 hours at the 10 hour mark, or if I get an elite clue scroll. This might be a bit of a bold statement, but I do think it might be true. I have killed probably the most tortured gorillas out of any player in the game at this point. At least top 0.1% if anything. We just hit 10 hours of killing tortured gorillas and after this one, we have now killed 1187 of them. That is uh, kind of cursed. No way. Out of all the items I could get... Heavy Frame has now been obtained from Tortured Gorillas. This is, at a ridiculous drop rate, 1 in 15,000. 10 times more rare than the Elite. 
I guess this is what I kind of get for trying to get an elite clue scroll from the worst source possible in old school runescape. I just hit 2000 KC of tortured gorillas and this is all the loot. I've nearly gained 7 million worth of GP from just these creatures. They have like the worst drop table in the game and I've been here for 17 hours. I thought this would be a quick thing but seems like it is not. Oh my god, okay, this is a joke at this point. Right after that, we got a curved bone, and this is 1 in 5,000 drop rates. Why are we getting all the rare items, but I just want the 1 in 1.5k elite clue scroll, that's all I want. Oh yes, Ballista Limbs, let's have a look. How rare is this? How much do I have to cry? 1 in 5,000, ah yes. Honestly, I really hate doing this because I never really give up on grinds, but uh, I have now been here for 26 hours and we have killed nearly 2,800 tortured gorillas. That is nearly twice the drop rate. We've had like an 85% chance of seeing the elite clue scroll at this time. And I'll go for 3,000 kills, double the drop rate of the elite clue scroll. But if I don't get it, at that point, what really is the point? Just to show you guys the loot of one elite clue scroll, it's all about what, theoretically, I guess, the rarest ways of getting the clue scrolls are. But as I said, I really dislike giving up on grinds like this, but uh, also don't want to spend like 60 hours killing tortured gorillas. Oh, no way! I'm at 2,974 KC, 29 hours into the grind. I am so happy to see this because I really didn't want to quit this grind and not get the elite clue scroll, but I guess this shows how terrible of a way this is of getting elite clue scrolls. We finally got it, let's go and complete it. Oh my god, there it is, you have obtained the casket. The 30 hour elite clue scroll has been obtained. If this is worth like 50k, honestly at this point I'll just take it, it, it is what it is, but uh, Let's hopefully get something good. We can maybe even get a master clue here. So let's see what we get. And the reward is 371k. That is actually pretty good. And we get a full helm ornament kit. I already have that apparently on the collection log, but I'm happy with that. By the way, for those of you who kept track of my combat tracker, I actually gained 2.5 million strength experience during that grind. And the only thing I have left to say is never do these grinds.